everyone, my name is Laura. So today I have a catalogue breakdown for you guys. Now you guys might be wondering what is a catalogue breakdown, what is this, I've never heard of this before. I haven't heard of it either. To be completely honest with you, I just made up the name, I don't know if this is already around and I just haven't found that world of YouTube yet. If I haven't found it and it already exists, oh my god, please let me know because I'm so interested. But if you haven't, or if this doesn't exist, then this is a new type of video. So basically what a catalogue breakdown is to me is going through a catalogue or sometimes a few catalogues in today's case and I will share with you guys kind of like things that I would point out and be like, oh, that seems like a really, really good deal. I'm going to go check that out in store. So it might be that it's half price. It might just be that I've never seen it come on special before or it might be that I'm running low on it and I think that I need it or it might just be, oh, I want to try that. So it might be a few different things and yeah, that's basically it. So it's basically just me going through a catalogue. The reason why or how I got this idea was me and my work friend Anne literally every Wednesday, sometimes Thursday if we're a bit slacking, but mainly Wednesday, I'll be like, Anne, do you want to go through the Warwick's catalogue at lunch? She'll be like, yep, or the Coles catalogue at lunch, yep. And we'll just go through the catalogue and I'll just be like, oh my God, look at this, look at this, look at this, she'll do the same. And it's just, it's just such a fun thing for us. Like, I don't know if some of you guys don't care about like a saving and stuff but I really really like get a rush from it. I'm like oh my god I saved so much money on this like this is so good I don't know if anyone else is like that or if you just generally like have like a party coming up and you just want to get some savings or some ideas or something like that depending on how this video goes maybe I'll do it every week or something like that I don't know so I'm not really too sure like the long-term plan for it but at the moment I'm really loving like going through the catalog so I thought that I'd share it with you guys considering I already do it anyway so this week's catalog will be from the 28th of March which is the Wednesday so that's today and it goes through till Tuesday the 3rd of April my godness, I'm looking at the calendar. So for this week's catalogue breakdown, I'm going to be going through Woolworths first. Woolworths for me personally is just more convenient to get to. So I normally opt for the Woolworths catalogue first. And then if I don't really feel like I've gotten enough, I go to the Coles catalogue. But maybe for these videos, I'll always do both. So if you are a Coles shopper instead of a Woolworths shopper, I will put the time stamp of the Coles portion and where it starts in the description box or I'll find it somewhere and I'll put it somewhere I haven't really dived too much into that but to start off with Woolworths the first thing that I saw was chocolate not Easter chocolate so I think that will be good for some people like some people just want to stock up because you might have a party like the week after or you might just not like Easter eggs or something like that so there's four chocolates that I've seen that are half price the first one is for a Rocher the 16 pack that's $6.30 the lint cornet i'm not sure if that's even pronounced right but they're basically the lint ball things the individually wrapped ones that's ten dollars for 337 grams there's the toblerone the big block the 360 gram one for five dollars so you're saving five dollars same with the mars gift boxes which consists of like m m's and maltesers and if you can get the dark maltesers those are really really yummy i had some of those and those were delicious and those are $5 a box as well. My apologies that I am looking down. I do have them all screenshotted on my phone, but I will share with you guys the screenshot of the actual catalog on the screen so you guys can see what I see. The more Easter sold chocolates are the Lint Gala Easter Eggs gift boxes. These are 400 grams and they are $15 a box. These are only at Woolworths apparently, so if this is something that catches your eye, from the picture it looks like it has Lint balls as well as those little baby lint bunnies which i've actually had last year and they were quite delicious not the actual gala box i haven't gotten that before but the baby chocolates are really really good like the baby bunnies another thing is the cadbury favorites easter chick which is a 700 gram container and that's 15 dollars save 15 dollars. so i think for almost a kilo that's actually pretty decent and it's in the shape of an egg the next thing is crumpets i love a good crumpet on a saturday morning and Oh my goodness, over the Easter time, I'm sure I'll eat a golden crumpet every single day. Like this is definitely something that I'm going to buy this week. So a six pack of golden crumpets is $1.65. That's half price. And I'll be definitely getting some of those. Oh, yum. This one, it's not the biggest special either, but I thought this one might be kind of fitting for the Easter break. If you might be going to like a get together with friends or family or church or something like that, then you can buy eight 
profiteroles for three dollars you are saving two dollars so it's just like a quick easy convenient kind of food gesture if you are needed to bring food somewhere if you want to bring food somewhere i think that's a nice one because they're like individual and you can kind of work out how many you need based on like having like individual servings like if you count every one as like one serving oh my god i'm so happy this is on sale because i'm actually running low i love like baby cucumbers or like pickles like like pickled baby cucumbers they're from this always fresh range which i think i bought like around christmas or just before christmas and i bought a few because i loved them so much but they're on sale a dollar 75 save dollar 75 and also kalamata olives or i don't know if it's all of the olive fresh olives or if it's only the kalamata olives but they're two dollars fifty for a 220 gram jar as well I do love those as well, but I've got a few at home, so I might not get that. But I'm definitely going to get some of those baby cucumbers. Oh, I love them so much. This one I've actually seen a few times in Woolworths and have been considering umming and ahhing on if I should buy it. And now I think maybe I will buy it. I'm going to do a bit more research before I do commit to buying it, though. This one is the Cocoa Earth Liquid Coconut Oil. This is in, like, the oil bits. I found mine, like, higher up. Like, when I saw it, it was always on the very top shelf. I don't know about you guys, but that's where mine was. And it's $6.50, and you're saving $6.50, so that's half price. Oh, this jam, guys. Oh, now I haven't seen it on a better sale than this yet, so I don't know. But this is called Bonnie Marmon Jam. These are the 370 gram jars of it, and oh my goodness, I don't remember what one I got. I think I got like a mixed berry or wild berry or something like that. Oh, it was so good. Oh, that's on sale for four dollars and you're saving $1.20. So it's not a massive saving, but if you want a good jam, oh, this one is so good. <laughs> I had it with scones, I think like two or three weeks ago. I bought it on sale at Coles for $4 as well. And oh, it was so good. And we are literally got like half a container left. So I'm definitely gonna pick up another one, maybe a different flavor. All right, this next one is pretty much just for my mum because she's my mum and she drinks this coffee. So Makona, they're doing half price on their freeze-dried coffee 200 gram jars so that's nine dollars and 15 cents for that and i think they're also doing the peter alexander jars as well i really really like it when they do that because i reuse the jars when they do that this one i think i might get a few of them so i can have some yogurt for my breakfast or maybe like something at work so the dairy farmers thick and creamy yogurt 150 gram tubs like they're just like individual cups pretty much they're a dollar, so you're saving more than half price because you're saving a dollar ten. So that's really, really good. So those were pretty much the highlights of the Woolworths catalogue. I know that kind of took a while, but those were the highlights for me. Now moving on to Coles. So the first thing is Easter bunnies. The 80 gram Easter bunnies are two dollars. I feel like this is actually a really, really good gift. Like if you're like a manager, or even if you just want to give gifts to like your work team or like your family and stuff like that, I think two dollars a bunny is pretty good especially for Cadbury and they're not too big. Two other half price things are the Lint Lindor mini egg value bag. This is a 390 gram bag at $10 so you're saving $10 and also the favorite so those are $6 for a 320 gram box. So these ones I haven't really seen them come on sale at Coles or Woolworths before but these are the Toscano waffles I probably butchered that I most definitely did these are 360 gram waffles now if rumor serves me correct these are the same waffles that Max Brenner uses I don't know I have tried them once before like the store-bought ones and I'll say they're pretty close like if they're not the same they're pretty close like they're really really good and they're $3.50. I think from memory you get four in a pack. I might be wrong though, so don't take my word as legit. And you save $1.80. Lipton iced tea is also half price if you're entertaining with a one and a half litre for $1.97. Okay, for your makeup lovers, CoverGirl is half price at Kohl's. To be honest, I haven't really seen CoverGirl for more than half price. So if you're needing anything from CoverGirl or wanting anything from CoverGirl, maybe give them a go because I think that's a pretty good deal. Also from Coles, Coke is half price in the cans, but this one is the 24 box. It's $15.90. Doritos are also half price at $1.65. I'm totally going to try the Doritos Collide. I've really wanted to get it, so I'm going to get that. And also, just because it's on special, I might actually pick up a few of the Weight Watchers 
classic menu meals. These are the 300 to 370 gram meals. On here, it's got beef lasagna, and I love lasagna, so oh my god. But that's $2.80 a meal, which I think would be really, really good for work. Just as like a quick thing to put in the freezer. Oh my goodness, I do not know how long this video is going to be. So fingers crossed it's not too long. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it and benefited from it. I know that like this video isn't for everybody. But if you love a saving or if you just want to try something new, I think this is a really, really good video to do it. I'm actually really, really sad that both catalogs didn't have really, really good ice cream deals. I feel like some weeks they have amazing ice cream deals and then other weeks they don't. So unfortunately they didn't have any amazing ice cream deals this week. Hopefully they do next week, fingers crossed. Let me know if you guys like this video because if you do then I'll continue to do it and consistently keep up with it. If not, I'll kind of just do it every now and again. So I guess we'll just see how things go with it. But I have heaps of fun doing it. I know it's not as fun like just hearing people like read it but it's kind of like getting the inspiration to be like, oh my god, I can make that, I can make that, I can make that, I can use that. And then like going out and like trying to hunt for like the best price. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know what you thought in the comments down below because I really, really, really value your guys' opinions so much. You guys have no idea. If it wasn't for the few of you who do comment on my videos, I seriously... Sorry guys, my camera literally just cut out while I was having like a deep and meaningful conversation. But anyway, for you guys who do comment, it seriously means the world to me. If you guys didn't comment, I probably wouldn't keep posting videos because there's nothing worse than me posting a video and like a week in and no one's commented. Like it's just, it's really, really depressing like to be completely honest with you guys. So hopefully to switch things up a little bit, you guys like this. And yeah, I don't really feel like I have anything else to say. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.